All right, everyone, we haven't done one of these in a while. I thought we'd do a Ste Harmony singles read. Take a look around at the energies around my viewers. Most of you divine feminines, if you will. But you could be divine masculine in a new relationship. We flip roles all the time. All right, it's not a big deal. Happens all the time. Uh, it depends on the person you're with. It's a definition of how we love. So, you know, in, a, in one relationship, you might be the nurturer. In another relationship, you might be the provider. I don't know. Uh, you might be the protector. Who knows? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. Either way, we're flying outside the soulmate cycle. This is a singles read. We're going to see what's coming your way. We've been talking a lot about this new cycle. Even in a three quick cards with me the other night, a lot of opportunities coming your way. A lot of frustration right now as we get started. That's always the case, right? You know, but supposedly there's a lot of opportunities coming your way in this new major energetic cycle. Let's see. It's general reading. Never more true than with a Ste Harmony because, you know, uh, you're all you're all snowflakes. You're all different. You're not part of a cycle here. You're your own little cycle. But that being said, it is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, go find another Ste Harmony. There's a whole playlist of these. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. I don't know if I'm splitting this reading or not, or if it's just one reading, but here comes those opportunities I was talking about in my pre-shuffle. I thought we'd do it with the witches today. Right there, three of wands. Soon, the sun, you're going to be very happy. Because shit is coming your way. There's the chariot. That was our card from three quick cards with me last night. It was down the center. It's right there. Soon. Three of wands. There's new horizons coming here. Lots of opportunities. You're going to be very happy. Sun's going to light things up and show you. And again, like I said the other night, show, show you what it was all for. Right? And we'll talk about that in a second. It's coming your way. Opportunities. The chariot. Lots of them. Queen of Cups, full Queen of Cups, not desert Queen of Cups, as sometimes in this deck. Nope. Love. Be sure you're ready to give and receive. Because you're going to have to use your discernment. Four of Cups. Right? You're going to have to use your discernment. I always pick on this boy here for not banging this little blonde here at the, at the brook, looking at frogs instead. But sometimes you don't want to. Maybe she got an STD and he knows. I don't know. You got to use your discernment. Make sure all those lessons you've learned, you apply. Mm. And right here, the emperor, book ending this. There's, there's a very good energy coming your way. This is not Burger King energy. This is, this is, some, this is nice. The opportunities that are coming your way are real, but some are better than others. So the lessons you learned in the last cycle are going to be important. Are you going to repeat and go for the same thing you always go for? Or are you going to try something new and maybe see if you can get long term out of it? I don't know. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's go. Let's do a Ste Harmony reading. Let's see where we go here. I like doing these. These are always fun. Let's see. I don't know if I still don't know if I'm splitting it or not. I don't know. We'll see. Give me uh, the energies around my viewers. Universe singles read. It knows what I mean by that. Let's see where we go. Okay. Well, our pre-shuffle talked about opportunities. Our bottom card talks about, again, Six of Pentacles. It's it's a card of abundance. It is. It's He, he got enough to give away. Right? But it's a balanced energy. I, I really feel that very strongly. This I said that in yesterday's Three Quick Card. This is a balanced cycle. It's, it, it's, it's energy as a whole is represented by the sun. But its core energy, the, the baseline of it, is the King of Pentacles, which is very stable, very nice energy. Does not allow for wishy washiness, though. But you do need to use your discernment. Some of them people coming at you might have those STDs. You don't want to end up at the clinic the next morning for asking for the Charlie Sheen full panel. You don't want that. I got a Four of Swords. I am splitting it. A Ten of Swords and a Death card. How's that for a top row? Holy shit. Well, that's kind of where you're all at right now. It, it, it's, it makes sense. Because it, it does. Because the core energy that we're all going to be living in right now is still transitioning from a cloudy day into a sunny day. And we saw in yesterday's three quick card, the nine of swords. Everybody, you know, I told everybody, I opened the reading by telling everybody, chill the hell out. Get out of your head, relax, shit's coming, just chill out. And here it is. This is where we are. Uh, one, the, the most of you watching are the Ten of Swords. Something is, you need to let go of something. You're holding on to a grudge. You're holding on to something. Like energy attracts like energy. 
One drop of Windex ruins five quarts of chili. If you're holding on to resentment toward a DM who hurt you, someone who hurt you, ran away from you, that soulmate cycle person, you need to let that shit go. This dead, dead, done and over. You can let it go. Let go of the resentment. I'm not talking about letting go of them. You could still hold out, leave the door open for them. And, 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 you know, you set your intention to the universe. You create a void. You leave the door open. You go about your business. Don't hold on to negativity because it's trying to change here. Okay? Now, the second most of you watching is the uh, Four of Swords. You're healing. All right. This is use this time as we transition before all these opportunities start coming your way. Use this time wisely. Heal. It, it tie, everything's tied together. I don't time stamp these. Okay. Why don't I time stamp my readings? People ask me that, or they used to anyway, when they could reach me. They ask me that all the time. But because everything is connected. This could be you in the future. This could be you in the future. This could be you in the past. This could be you in the past. This could be you right now. All of it. Everything is connected. Everything matters that I say. So for all of you, 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 obviously this person here, these people, most of you watching need to let go of one. You're holding on to one little, even one little drop of resentment. It hurt me. I'm going to hold on to that. I'm not going to let go. Well, that's just going to attract more of that to you. So mixed in with the golden opportunities that are coming your way will be shit opportunities like the other one. That's what that Four of Cups was talking about in the pre-shuffle. Uh, right here, the second most of you, you you're, you're healing. You please use the time to heal. Use it wisely. Stay out of your head. This one here, the death card, something's about to change big time. This is the least of you watching, but you guys are ready. You guys are ready to rock. You're ready to bang somebody new when they come in. Check for them STDs. You're ready to bang somebody new when they come in. You're ready to go. Your life is actually in a serious... It, the switch is about to flip. All right? Let's clarify. You want to clarify? You want to? Okay, I will. Let's start with the Four of Swords, people. All right? Tell me about this Four of Swords. Healing is important for all of you. This side here, okay, is healed. You, you don't have any negativity. The transition is happening. It's the only major arcana down here on the tape. All right. Four of Swords. Why is it here? Tell me about the Four of Swords. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Man, I'm going to need a shitload of coffee today. I'll tell you what. I've been sleeping like shit the last couple of nights. All right. Here we go. What's going on here with the Four of Swords? Queen of Wands. Crossing that. That's an attracting energy in the Witch's Tarot. It's very attractive. You're hot. You're going to attract things. Make fucking sure you're healed. Because you, if you're not, you'll diminish your own value. You, you're your self-worth. If you're not fully healed, you'll go, well... They're all right. I guess I'll bang them. Whatever. You shouldn't be never doing that. They're all right. I guess I'll bang them. That's how you end up getting the Charlie Sheen full panel. Okay? You don't want that. You don't want that. It's, it's, it's not fun. Okay, what's on top here? You're very attractive. Your energy is very attracting. This is the energy of the Empress. She's all four queens. This is the energy. This is the queen energy. Makes her walk into any bar, any pub, any grocery store. And Willie's go in the air. Full boner. Right there in the freezer aisle. It's that, this is that energy. You've got to make sure you're healed or you won't think clearly. You just bang anybody. Cut the crap on that. What's on top? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, slow down a little bit. Don't be, you might be in a hurry. You might be like, well, why aren't I meeting anybody? Why aren't I this? I'm not meeting anybody. I haven't been banged in so long. I'm a virgin again. I, you know, what, what, blah, 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 blah. Shut the fuck up. I told you, stay out of your head. Work, don't worry about it. I don't even have a card that says stay out of your head. Well, actually, I do. The Four of Swords is shutting down the brain and letting the soul energy come through. Give your head a rest. Allow yourself to heal. There's stuff coming your way, but you're slowing it down like that a little bit. Okay? All right, what's on top of it? The Magician. Fucking hell. I love the Magician here. This is nice. It's a... It's about, it ties to the healing a little bit. It's a bit of an alchemy energy, a bit, a, a bit of a lead into gold kind of a thing. It, it's basically saying, take your time, slow down, when you're, make sure, make sure you're ready. 
When you're ready, it will come to you. The universe never sends you things when you're not ready. It doesn't. Even if you don't think you're ready, the energy knows more. It knows better because it can see further into the future than you can. It can see everything. So that being said, the universe, its timing is perfect. It sends you the right people in the right situations at the right time. The universe is saying, I'm slowing things down because they may think they're ready, but they're not. They're just going to fuck it up. It's nice. It's nice. Uh, what's on top of the magician here? When you're ready, you're ready, big time. Knight of Swords. When you're ready, big time. I just I said it as I threw the card. The Knight of Swords, a fast moving energy, a faster moving knight. This this book ends the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles picks up when the universe feels like you're ready, and then it sends you everything. But you have some healing still to do. And part of that healing may not even be letting go like the Ten of Swords, letting go of that little bit of resentment for that runner DM. Part of the healing might just be, be you and learning the, the lesson of temperance. The most important lesson in the, in, in, in the whole tarot. In life, I think. Temperance is about stopping trying to control what we can't control. We can only control ourselves and how we feel about things. If you learn the lesson of temperance, nobody can rattle you. Nothing can get to you. You're just like, okay, fine. You know, that kind of thing. Look, I'm not perfect. I'm still learning the lesson of temperance. It, it's a lifelong lesson for all of us. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm Italian. I'm a hothead by nature. It's bred into me, right? Somebody disses me and tells me something. I go, I'll fucking fly off on it. You fucking asshole. Fuck this, fuck that. I'm a smack you in the back of the head kind of person. But, you know, I'm still learning. I'm aware of that. See, I've acknowledged that. So I, that, that allows me to work on it. Make sure you acknowledge when you're being impatient. Because that impatience energy is slowing things down. The universe reads it as desperation. And desperation is repellent. It will speed up when you transform into the Hulk. Ten swords. What do we got here? Mm, most of you watching. You holding on to something. Some little piece of... I'm pissed at so and so. You hold on. Sometimes you wake up at night. Sometimes you have trouble getting to bed. It's the last thing you think about. I can't believe they did that to me. I deserve so much better. Well, unfortunately, the universe is just energy. It don't understand English perfectly. Like when I pull on a sign, I don't just say, give me a reading for Virgo or give me a reading for Libra. Actually, when I put the intention out, I show the universe what that is. I put the earth around in the part of the sky it'll be in around the sun around that time and show it. Okay, The energy, just if you hold on to that resentment, the energy just reads it as negative energy. And it'll send you like energy. And negative energy is very powerful. It feeds itself. So it only takes a drop. All right. Let's see here. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Give me Ten of Swords. Oh, fuck yeah. You got to let go of it for forward movement to happen. It's crossed by the Eight of Wands, but it's cock blocked by you holding on to something. This right here is almost as powerful as the energy of this, which is ready to go. That light's about to turn green right here. In fact, I think it may have for some of these people. Right here, you're stuck on a red light. The, it's jammed up. They need to call the city to come fix it. All right, because you're holding on to something. It's ready to go. It's ready to go. You, just release it. Release the anger. I'm not talking about releasing the person. Calm the fuck down. I know you love that person. You see yourselves together with them. You're just hurt that they... I get it. Let go of the hurt. Heal the hurt. Both of these, both of you all, Four of Swords and Ten of Swords, could be right here. Something's jamming each of you up. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Don't yell at me. What's on top here? King of Pentacles. Jesus Christ. It, this is the energy. This is what we got in yesterday. I have to, all of my readings tie together. Everything I've ever done here on YouTube and an Extended, all of it, it all ties together. Steve Love Tarot is the real deal. I'm here. You're, you're watching a guy who reads energy, who studies soulmate cycles, study it right in fucking front of you. And I do it. I keep notes on everything. I know all the readings. I go through. They're, everything is tied together. This right here is our energy from yesterday's three quick cards with yours truly. It's that stable energy. There is stability here, but instability, I got, when I got eight wands crossing ten swords, I've got instability. I've got, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go, but, but somebody holding back the car, somebody standing in front of the car, you can't go unless you're going to run that shit down, okay? This is nice. 
This is nice. What's what, what's on top? Six of Pentacles came back. Stable, 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 stable. Uh, that's all I got. Okay, what's on top of that? Seven of Cups. You're limiting your options by holding on to this. Okay, you're limiting your options. There's options. There's things. There's eight wands trying to fly at you. Okay, this is a new cycle of a lot of opportunity. Some of you who have re-virginized are about to get banged a lot. <clears throat> you know, it really is. There's going to be plenty of opportunities for it in love, in career, in jobs. You got to take some chances, but it's a safe environment to take some chances in. Try for things that you do, didn't normally have. It, it, what you can do, an easy way to release this energy, this negativity you have toward this, is again, like I've told you, Think about it's, yeah. On one side, it's think about everything you've learned. Yes, but also think about everything this person did that you're mad about, right? And try and as these opportunities come at you, the confusion that's usually around the Seven of Cups will be alleviated by the fact that you can eliminate them very quickly, like that, purely because well, this per this person's a, you'll be able to see the red flags. I guess is an easy way to put it. Okay, like I said, this is very important for this row here. The way to release that energy is to write down everything bad that happened here that you're mad about. And, and then tell yourself as you read through it, and I mean write it down. Okay, I know we live in a world where nobody knows what a pen and paper is anymore. But actually, physiologically, with the brain and the way it works, writing it down is far better than typing it on one of your little pads or some shit or what everybody uses. I still use pen and paper. In fact, that's my that that used to be my Steve graphics, right? Pen and paper for the uh, um, mailbag videos and such. It's important. It, it's the brain picks it up better. So write the shit down. Write down all the shit that you're pissed about and read through it and then tell yourself Say it out loud to the universe. I will not tolerate this again. Right? That's it. And then let it go. And once you do that, you've basically manifested. You've told the fickle old gal, I don't want any of this shit again. All right? And, then it, it, and that's not saying that your person won't come in, that that's not you casting them off. You're talking about traits to the universe that you're looking for. Because the universe is trying to send you opportunities. All right? And it's going to in this cycle. I'm going to take a poll. I'll poll at the end. All right. I, I, so these two, I don't have anybody coming towards you. Okay. I don't have anybody coming towards you. I've got you nothing. I've got a danger here of things coming towards you, but some of them are the same shit you're used to. And I've got this here. This person is impatient. You know, why is nothing happening? Why is nothing happening? Well, nothing's happening because the universe says you're not ready yet. You still got to, you still got to heal a little bit. Hey, don't blame me. I'm just translating. But when, when you're ready, shit happens fast. And that's probably why you need to be ready. Right? Shit happens fast. You don't just start a new job and they throw you in. You know, they give you some training, probably, at most places. You know, that kind of thing. Well, you're, you're in training right now. So when you're ready to go, you're ready to go. All right. Let's take a look at this death card here. I will see if there's anything else the universe wants to say at the end for these two. I'll lump these two together. Death card, you guys are on green light. Your life is changing, and it'll probably change before you realize it. I think something's coming your way. Mm -hmm. Now, it is death rebirth, but I'm not pulling on the soulmate cycle. I do feel a soulmate energy here, but I'm not sure it's your runner. It might be another soulmate. Maybe someone you don't suspect is a soulmate. Someone you would be inclined to cast off. It's possible. That comes up a lot in these readings. I know. You got to type. Right? You know. You're ready. You are absolutely ready. Wow. Okay. Ready for what? Long term. You got something very, 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 very special headed your way. Very, 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 very special. Wow. Okay. And you're going to need to apply the lessons you learned in the previous cycle. Wow. Nine wands. Um, that's a card of persistence a little bit. It's a card. You're, you're tired. Everybody's tired. It's like the card of the wounded warrior, right? My center energy here is it's been a long road. All right. But nines are the end in terror. They really are. 
you know. Tens are the end and that lead to a new beginning. But nines, you're, you're, you're there. You're good. You're, you're all set. This person on this car is perfectly safe with this wall here. They're all set. What's on top? Wow. Something's going to change your life here. I got three swords reversed, book ending a hierophant. Uh, that's major. It is somebody who will restore you. It's coming your way. It's an energy that's coming in. It's an energy that's trying to transition. It's somebody who will change your... Mm, I don't want to say change your life. Change your view on, on what happened. In other words, it'll make you forget all about something that hurt you. Okay? That's the easiest way I can phrase it. It'll be that good. This is nice. This is a soul connection. Big time. I'm going to try to see if the universe will tell me anything about it. About anything. I mean, I'm just going to... Tell me about this connection coming in. Tell me about this Hierophant. See if it'll tell me anything. I don't know. coming in fast it's it's here it's green light it really is two swords and I'll pull one more it'll be off camera it'll be the third card I'm gonna put it down here below the wheel of fortune yeah it's major change the two of swords is uh, you might again I said I felt an energy around this if it's somebody that you might dismiss I gave my little fun redhead analogy on my side I, it doesn't matter everybody got kind of a type or something you're looking for this is actually what you're looking for but it might not make your tick list of everything that you're looking for but it's nothing bad it's something to change again I got another faded life change here the wheel of fortune the wheel turns in your favor this thing comes in fast it could be somebody who again with the two of swords here your energy is attached to this is it's you know that's the inclination that it might not be something you want you might dilly dally on it a little too long don't not in this energy just try see if you like it even if you think it's not someone for you try it. give them a shot you never know right it's, it's always a numbers game anyway but this is very specific this is a very specific person and it's pro it can be for some of you not all of you for some of you, somebody who's been a little nervous and hiding in the background, maybe a friend who hasn't told you how they felt, that they want a little bit more, I don't know. That's not for all of you, but, it, but the energy is there, so I should say it. For all of you, this comes in very quick. And this is someone, now I know a lot of readers read the Knight of Wands as a player card, but I was kind of trying to ask the universe for some timing for you, even though there's no time in the energy. I'm not one of them readers that's going to tell you five days, five weeks, five months, or anything like that, because that's bullshit. And the universe don't even know what that is but um, it, it means it comes in quickly it's it surprises you it's something that will on a, it's when you least expect it okay someone's going either going to tell you how they feel or you're just going to run into somebody maybe it's one of them people at the grocery store with their willies up in full full force I don't know male or female doesn't matter both both sexes get excited in their own way all right we're all snowflakes it's life-changing it's wonderful let me pull a quick couple of cards for these two. I'm going to lump these two together a little bit here. Anything else you want to tell? Column one, four of swords, and column two, ten of swords. I'm going to pull a bridging energy just on these two. Give me the bridging energy of the four of swords and the ten of swords because I kind of see it there. But I need a card. What is it? Let's see here. This is nice. If you're ready, you're ready. And column one, listen up to this one. Because it, your column says you're just not ready. You, the, the, all this is for you too. No timestamps here. Everybody's connected. All this, this right here is for everybody here. When you're ready, and you know this column too. Yeah, you will have opportunities coming at you anyway. But some of them are going to be shit because of that negative energy you're holding on to. Okay, that anger. So take my advice there, or or not. It's up to you. But now bridging energy between the four of swords and the ten of swords. What is it? What's the bridging energy here? Tell me. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah. Uh, it, it's healing for both. It's the high priestess. All right? The high priestess is intuition. It's secrets. It's things happening beneath the surface. Yeah, and all that kind of stuff. But it's about release it's she's she's very wise right it's about it's about releasing the things that 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 aren't pure the, the toxins and or anything and there's toxin here on varying levels on both of these columns 
Um, the answers are in your intuition. Both of you, because it's swords here, might be in your head a little, little too much, a little more than you're. You're a little out of balance between your soul and your brain a little bit. Especially this one over here. Uh, well, not I shouldn't say that. This one over here, uh, the four of swords, is a bit more impatient and you know I want something I'm ready I want it but, but the universe the energy around you says that you're not ready okay and that's why it's not coming your way this one over here it's just you got stuff coming your way or you will shortly right remember the three of wands we started with shortly mm -hmm. very soon um, but you're holding on to some negativity so quiet the mind over here for sure allow the soul to flow through and over here release what doesn't matter Release what's holding you back. You've got an anchor on you with that little bit of resentment you're holding on to. Please release it. Take, take the advice I gave on that. It works. Especially energetically when you, tell the, you, when, when you read back the things that you will not tolerate and you tell the universe. Just talk to it. I talk to it to pull these readings. Just talk to the universe. When you walk down the street, whatever, talk to it. Tell it, I will not tolerate this shit. Okay. She don't mind swearing. It's fine. It's good. At the bottom of the deck, I pull the bridging energy here. This applies across the board. It's the affecting energy of all of, of everything I'm talking about. It's Knight of Cups. But he stopped, right? He stopped right on the edge. That that applies. It was your shuffle, so it applies mostly to you two. For the column three, it's a Knight of Cups. It's a cup of love coming your way. Pay attention because it, it, it shows up out of nowhere. You might not be expecting it. You know, kind of thing. It might surprise you, scare you, whatever. I don't know. But pay attention and make your decisions quickly. Don't 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 dilly dally in this new energy. It, turn that turn that three of swords right around, give you a whole new view. You'll be like Divine Masculine who? Burger King who? I mm, don't even remember. Right? It's it's very powerful. I got a wheel of fortune here, by the way. <laughs> like to point that out. Some powerful cards here. One, two, three major arcanas, a very fast knight, a three of swords turned upside down, and you ready to go. And I don't remember what was crossing, but I know it was good. Oh, nine of pentacles, that's right. Nine of pentacles. You're the shit. You got my street name. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck, you guys.